Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Tristan here from Parker Digital. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a popover box for your own website. Now you might have seen this across other websites. I certainly use it within my own and it's very, very useful for not only displaying contact forms or pop-up forms, but actually a very effective way to potentially consolidate your navigation and have that appear in a pop-up box using a hamburger icon, for example. Now this concept has existed around the web for ages now, but there's a lot of people that have asked me, how do you actually achieve this in Elementor? So that's what we're covering in today's video. I'm gonna share with you on screen how you can create your own pop-up form for your website. So we're gonna be exploring and dissecting the request a quote pop-up form that we use on our own agency website. So you can understand how it works and then go and build one for your own agency website or even start implementing it into your client projects. So although in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to create a pop-up form to request a quote, the whole concept remains if you wanted to take this and implement it into your website navigation. So you could click a hamburger icon and you can have your whole navigation sort of appear on screen in a nice fancy transitional way. Now before we get into it, please do remember to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, and you're gonna be notified of any future releases. And without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, cool, so we're on screen. Here we are at the agency website. And just to show you what we're going to be achieving today, we've got this button here, which is for a free website audit. And when someone clicks this, what will happen is you will see this animation and a pop-up form appears, okay? It's really nice, quite subtle, but very slick as well. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today and dissecting. So let's just close this so you can see the animation. Transitions out as well. So it comes in and it fades out. All right, so real, real nice and slick for either your website or your client's website. Now this is done using a pop-up, all right? And just to give you an example of what this looks like here, we've got, let me just close the navigation. We've got a pop-up field which spans the entire width of the page. Now typically this will have just um, a pop-up on screen, but if you want to amend these settings, you need to click the cog down in the bottom left-hand corner and this will give you the pop-up settings, okay? So we're not actually editing the settings of an individual widget at this point, we're just editing the settings of the pop up okay and we can change the width like so so we're going full width and height is fit to content or we could fit to screen for example okay content position is at the top you could place it in the center like we have there which is quite nice we've got our animation in and animation out all right so this is what's causing the transition in and the transition out so it fades the background this is specifically fades in down and then when we close it it fades in up and right, now if we come back here you'll notice it's fading down then this is fading up okay Okay, so we've got two separate animations taking place here. And actually the way that we're achieving that is, again, really easy. So we've got the animation that comes in on the background and this block here, let's just click these six dots. If we go to advanced and we go to motion effects, we've got a motion effect on this block here and we've also delayed it. So we've delayed it by an entire second. And by doing that, it allows us to create this nice background fade where it just comes down on the screen and then the form comes up. Otherwise the form and the block is just gonna scroll down, which again, is fine but I kind of wanted to change how that looks so we've got one then two we've got the animation on the background which is the pop-up and we've got the animation on this block which is delayed by a second and it's fading in up all right so it's really that simple so how do we actually go about creating something similar for yourselves so let's just hit update here i'm going to click save and close so from your website let's just go to the dashboard and then we want to head to elementor templates and then pop-ups okay so we're going to be creating a pop-up now as i said at the start of this video you can have a pop-up for a pop-up form you can have a pop-up navigation and ultimately it will just depend on what type of pop-up you want to take place and what the call to action is when the end user clicks the button for that pop-up to appear all right so we want to do is click add new and pop up and I'm just going to call this test pop up. Now you can use a pop up from the library if you want. I'm not going to be doing this today. We're just going to close that and we're going to be given a blank canvas. Okay. So this is what you're given when you create a pop up and you can see that it's very different to what we have here. So let's change this. So it looks a little bit more like this. So first of all, we need to change the way that this looks. So if we head down to settings, all right, we want to get rid of the overlay, which is this shadow block here. All right. And the reason why we want to get rid of that is because if we don't, when you load the animation, what's going to happen is your back background is going to fade then the animation is going to come down and it just doesn't give the type of effect that we're looking for so you need to turn that overlay off we want to include a close button 
which is appearing up here. You just can't see it. We'll need to change the style. We want the width to be full width. And there we go. We want to fit to screen. All right, so it's taken up the entire screen now. The content sit in the middle, and then we want to change our entry animation. So we're going to change that into fade in down, and then we want to change that to fade out up. All right, we're going to keep the animation duration to 1.2 seconds. Let's go to style. So let's change the background of this. So there we go, that changes the background. Like say, so you can see the, the cross is in the top right corner, so that's gonna close it and cause it to, to drive up. We wanna change the style of the close button. So we actually just wanna change the size of this. We just wanna make it a little bit bigger. Like so, cool. That is our overlay duck. That is the animation coming in, scrolling up. You can close it, pops up. All of that good stuff that we need within a pop-up or the pop-up that we're trying to create now has been done, okay, that, which is awesome. And now we actually need to populate the content on the inside. So if we go to our widgets, we're just gonna drag in a inner section. Like so, we've got two options here now you can change the width of this i'm just going to change this to like 500 pixels like so i want it quite nice and narrow you can have this to whatever width that you like and we're going to remove one of these here by clicking delete all right so that's our content in here so what you want to do is typically you would just drag your heading in you would put Classic quotes for example you would then add your text you would then add a form Okay, so I've dropped that in the wrong place. We need to make sure that that is inside the container, like so, so it stays all nice and condensed. Now from here, what you do is you just change the style of your form. I honestly don't know how you want your form to appear, but you'll see that we've got these spaces here and that's because it's currently trying to include labels. So we'll just remove those labels. We've got labels inside the forms. If you want to change those, you can do so in here. So we could have full name, for example, change that there, change full name in placeholder and it's gonna change it within there. So apologies, I said change label, but actually we're changing the placeholder because we've removed the labels. All right, so it's inheriting all of our website styles at the moment, so I don't know where you're obviously at with your site, but you'd go ahead and you'd amend and style your form. And then we've got things like making sure that you've got your GDPR sorted, making sure that you're not gonna sell their data and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna copy this because it already exists. I'm gonna paste. All right, and then we've got a no my website is already performing great all right so we're going to copy that as well now this is just a button guys so if we paste this in and we click it you'll see that we've got a button okay but what's important about this is what we're saying is when this button is clicked we want this pop-up to close so the behavior of this button acts in the same way as this cross here so what you want to do is click dynamic tags we want to scroll down to pop up under actions we want to click on side it and then we want to put close pop up okay don't show this again oh okay well essentially once you've closed it you could hide it but we do want that to display each time so that is in essence your form All right now i'm just going to check the settings again because um the form isn't sitting oh that's because the content is there we go we want the content to be assigned to the center All right now i thought that this vertical position put it in the center but apparently it's the content position so there you go make sure that that is in the center and everything sits nice and central okay so we're just going to hit publish we're going to publish this now and where do you want to display your template well we're not actually going to add any conditions here because we want this pop-up to appear when we click a button but just to give you some insight, some of the conditions that you can add is you can add it on the entire site or you can create triggers. So you could have this appear on page load or when someone starts scrolling down the page or when they hit a specific element on click. So we are going to apply it to a button, but I'll show you how to do this in a minute. After interactivity, so you can have it load after 10, 15, 20 seconds, or you can have it load when the cursor goes to, you know, up to the corner to close the tab. So if the intent is there for them to close, you can have this trigger and have that pop up appear so you've got quite a lot of options here um, but at the moment we're just going to delete all conditions and we're just going to click save and close all right so that is now saved so now what we need to do is we actually need to apply that to a button so just as a reminder we are clicking this button so when that button is clicked the pop-up appears so free website audit that form then appears in a nice transition all right so let's just go and do that now Okay, cool. So I'm just cloning the homepage here. We're going to edit that with Elementor. So just for speed, I am going to assign the pop-up to this button. So a free 15 minute consultation. And don't worry, I have duplicated this page. So it's actually not going to affect my homepage whatsoever. Make sure that when you're doing things like this, work in a demo environment, work on a draft page, whatever it might be, just don't apply it to a live site because that's when you're going to have problems. Cool. So from here, we're just going to delete what's currently in here. So when you add a button to the site, so if we just go to button, if we add a button, like say we've got a button here, just for demo purposes, I'm going to delete 
that. So we've got a fresh button. Here we're gonna say open pop-up form, okay? But you would have like request a consultation, request a free audit, whatever it is, whatever action you are asking the user to complete. So here we've got a hashtag. So essentially when we click this button at the moment, it's not going to do anything, but we want this pop-up to apply. So we're gonna click dynamic tags. Remember this is Elemental Pro. You do need the Pro one, otherwise you're not gonna have the option to create pop-ups. So Pro in terms of the cost, it's worth its weight in gold because it speeds up your entire process. We can build fully fledged websites here at like a fraction of the time that it would take you to build in HTML. So we're gonna scroll down to actions and go to pop-up and then we're gonna click on this link box again. And then from here, we wanna open the pop-up. Now we need to tell it what pop-up we want it to open. So I think I call it test. There we go, test pop-up. Whatever you named your pop-up, you would just select it from there. Now if I click this, it's not doing anything, which is fine. And I just wanna apply that to the center. So I'm just gonna put that in the center of the page. We are going to save draft and then we wanna preview changes. So it's gonna open this up into a new tab. All right, so we've got our button here, open pop-up form. So let's see what it does. There we go. All right, excellent. So one small problem that you noticed there with the animation was the form come down at the same time, and that will be because I missed something. So we're gonna go back and fix that now. But just to show you, we've got your title, your text, albeit Laura Mipsum, you'd put your own text in there. We've got the form, and we've got no, my website is already performing great. So we click that, and it closes just like we anticipated it would. And you can also use the X here to close it as well. Now let's fix the animation because it's not coming in the way that we'd want it to. And the reason for that is we didn't actually apply a delay. So I already know what's causing this problem. So we've selected the six boxes up here, gone to advanced, we wanna to go to motion effects. My bad, it looks like we didn't apply a motion effect to it at all. So we've selected the six boxes, just as a reminder. Gone to advanced, under motion effects, you wanna create entrance animation. So we're gonna go fade in up. Okay, so we want that to fade in up and we want to add a delay. So the animation at the moment that's applied to the background here, just as a reminder, is at 1.2 seconds. Okay, so it's done within 1.2 seconds. That's how long the animation takes. We want this form to pop up towards the end of the animation or at the end. So you want it to be either one second or 1.2 seconds. You then want the form animation to come in. So let's click these six dots again. We're going to go back to advanced motion effects, fading up, entrance animation, the duration you can have slow normal or fast. I'm gonna have slow, I quite like the slow transitions. It looks quite smooth. And then from here, we're gonna have 1000 milliseconds. Okay, so this is done in milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds is one second. All right, so bear that in mind. So after one second, this is then gonna animate up. So let's click update, save and close. All right, let's close this. I'm gonna refresh this page. All right, and now let's open the pop-up form. There we go, that was the effect that we were looking for. All right, so this is really cool. And what's awesome, you can create one pop-up and you can apply this to multiple buttons. So let's scroll down this button here. We could also apply a pop-up. So we want that pop-up to be our test pop-up. Publish, let's go back to our draft page. Let's load that. So we've got a pop-up working on this one, as you can see. And close that, and if we scroll down, we've got the same pop-up that works with this one too. So you can create one pop-up, you can create one pop-up navigation, one pop-up form, whatever it might be, and you can apply it to multiple buttons. So there you go, guys. Now you know how to create pop-up forms or pop-up navigations using Elementor and using Elementor Pro's pop-up function. Now I've also shown you how you can apply that pop-up and assign it to a specific button. So when you click that button, that pop-up then activates and how you can go about closing it. So this is an amazing feature, guys. It's, it's super effective. It's super easy to implement into your own website as well. And it can be done like within a a matter of minutes. Typically using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, this would have taken us hours to build something like this and you've been able to do this in just a few minutes. So hopefully you found this valuable. If you have done, please do give it a thumbs up, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It also helps other people find this content online. So thank you so much. Let me know down in the comments how you're getting on. Have you managed to implement a pop-up form for your own website? Have you implemented this and taken it and implemented a website navigation pop-up using a hamburger icon? Let me know, I'd love to know. Now the end screen is coming up with two extra videos which I know that you're gonna find valuable so make sure that you go and check those out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!